From Rooster Teeth, the company that gave us people pissing about in Halo that somehow became ultra successful. And Monty Um, the guy that gave us sexy girls fighting one on one, sexy girls fighting three on three, sexy girls fighting in a battle royale, and finally, Samus versus Master Chief, who both turned out to be sexy girls fighting. They give you R B W Y or is it R W B Well I can never remember the right order. The series that promises sexy girls fighting now color coded Yeah that pretty much sums up my initial reaction to R W R B R W Mighty Morphing Maho Shoujo's So I wasn't gonna do a video about Ruby since it's much smaller in scale than the stuff I'm used to talking about and I personally judge it differently from the typical anime but because you guys would not shut up about it I thought I'd just give everyone my quick thoughts For those of you that don't know Ruby is a new anime styled web series done by Rooster Teeth best known for their work with Red vs Blue and was created and directed by Monty Um who is best known for his Dead Fantasy series before he joined Rooster Teeth The show is kind of the first of its kind being an American produced web series with a very anime style made by people who essentially rose to fame by making silly stupid internet fan videos Yeah, that's kind of like what I'm doing So it sits in the grey area of whether this really counts as an anime or not Which people have been arguing and arguing over and over about and so I'd like to create my own new category to class this in called honestly who really gives a flying fuck It's a show that's been teased by Rooster Teeth for many months now showing trailers with the four main characters showcasing what Monty does best Girls plus fighting plus kick ass <sighs> mess. There's not much I can really say about the story since there's only been two episodes out at the time of this video. But to summarize, they've created a world in which some kind of beasts are in them that some special humans called huntresses fight using some sort of power called dust. Not magic. Dust. Monty Yum has made it very clear that this dust thing is not magic and really is its own thing. It's not magic guys, it's a totally different thing, shut up! Apart from that, all we've seen so far is a setup to the world and also our main character. That is just starting her attendance to a Huntress training academy called Hogwarts. I mean Bacon. I mean Beacon. Beacon. So far it's kind of looking like a Rooster Teeth version of Soul Eater. And for the type of world that it's building up, I doubt they'll be able to explore everything within just one season of this. But it definitely is an interesting world they're in. From what I've heard from the soundtrack, well, it's surprisingly really fucking good so far and actually kicks the ass out of a lot of anime soundtracks now while managing to complement the action perfectly so I'm looking forward to hearing the rest of the soundtrack. One of the biggest concerns I had going into this was the voice acting since the acting and dialogue we got from the trailers felt very forced, awkward and sometimes cringeworthy. Melanie, who is this girl? I don't know, Milsha, but we should teach her a lesson. But having seen the first two episodes, the voice acting has improved a lot and while it's still a bit below of what I'm used to with anime dubs, it's still still acceptable. But honestly, if you have problems with the voice acting or you're just a dub hater, then I'm sure it won't be a problem to just switch to subs, cause the original Japanese version is always better than the English dub. <laughs> Ah, uh, oh wait. Animation wise, the whole thing felt like one giant cutscene from a Tales game, if you've ever played one of them. With some little awkward moments here and there, like when Ruby appearingly disintegrates cookies upon contact with her mouth. But overall, it's fine for the type of production it is. This, of course, not talking about the action scenes, which, let's be honest guys, is the reason we're bloody watching this show. If there's one thing I trust in Montium, it's his fight scenes and choreography. Cause one, they look fucking awesome, and two, they look fucking awesome. The action feels like what goes on in the head of a daydreaming seven year old. Cause even by normal anime standards, there's little that can match the totally off the wall and nearby impossible stunts that these characters achieve. When they're pulling off what looks to be like a 247 hit combo without so much as breaking a sweat. It feels like the type of balls to the walls combos and actions you see while playing Devil May Cry. Except it's even better because of how retardedly awesome all the weapons are. And I'm pretty sure the creative process behind making them boils down to taking a pre-existing weapon, putting a gun in it, followed by the phrase, cause why the fuck not? Just from what we've seen, you have a rapier that can use magic and shoot ice and other shit, cause why the fuck not? A red death scythe that doubles up as a massive 50 cal sniper rifle, cause why the fuck not? Swords that can be shot and gauntlets that fire shotgun bullets, cause why the fuck not? And finally a baseball bat that fires grenades and also can be used as a bazooka. So with this in mind, I suspect the weapon of the final villain will be a lightsaber that is also a gun that shoots more guns that doubles up as a bazooka that can transform into an Apache helicopter. And if that turns out not 
not to be the case, well, get on it, Monty! Because why the fuck not? Now, the reason I didn't want to make this video in the first place was because I wasn't sure how to judge a show like this, since it sits somewhere between an actual professional project and just an amateur project made by fans and shit. I use the word amateur very lightly because while Rooster Teeth is a production company, and I'm sure there are many talented people behind this production, it's still nothing compared to the wealth, knowledge, and know-how that, say, the newly formed Studio Trigger has, who has experience working on big, high-budget, and successful projects. So, looking at it both ways, this could either be a really top-of-the-line amateur project that fucking kicks ass, or a really low-budget professional project that doesn't quite match up to the standards that we're used to. But no matter what, I give props to the team at Rooster Teeth and Monty for pulling this off. I could go on and nitpick, but I really don't want to, because this is obviously a passion project that is being done by a small team, a tight schedule, and a very low budget. So, they should be proud for being able to pull off such a feat to begin with. This was made by a fan of anime who obviously wanted to make his own. And we can't say that we haven't thought about doing that at least once. And if he wants to make a show about a group of multicolored, super-powered Barbie dolls fighting monsters using impossibly impractical weapons, then we should just let him. Why, you ask? Because why the fuck not? Hey guys, Giga here. I hope you enjoyed that reaction video. Now, before you go, I've got a quick announcement to make. I'm going to be attending Alcon in Leicester from the 5th of September to the 8th of September. So, if you're in England and you've ever want to see me in person, God knows why you'd want to do that, then come to Alcon next month on the 5th of September to the 8th of September. If you're new to my videos, then you can find some of my other reactions and reviews here. And don't forget, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter in the description below. If you want to watch Ruby, then you can watch it here on YouTube. YouTube or on Rooster Teeth's website. Anyway, that's it for me now though. So remember, if you want to come see me, come see me at Alcon next month. But until then, I'll see you all next time.